Hey there everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to go over two fragrances that have really the same vibe, but smell differently. They have their own characteristics. And we'll go over the scent profile, performance, masculinity, pricing, and would I buy it again. On your left we have Paco Rabanne's Invictus Victory. And on your right, we have Azaro, the most wanted. But one interesting thing about both of these is that the concentration is called Eau de Parfum Intense. So I just found that out by reading the bottom of the bottles just when I was making this uh, video up that uh, it has a intense as a descriptor in the uh, concentration. Now, I don't know if intense is a standardized concentration, but it seems like uh, akin to something like extreme or elixir. And then uh, let's start it with the review. On the left, the Invictus Victory, it opens up with a fresh tangerine, lavender, and peach, and a little bit of pepper freshness on the alcohol blast. And on your right, the most wanted, starts out with a fresh blend of citrus, geranium, a little bit of iris, and some tonka bean. Then going on more to the settle down phase after 10-15 minutes, the victory on your left exhibits a sweet lavender, with some juicy peach, some slight pepper, and a little bit of bubble gum overall. A little bit bubble gummy overall. Then on your right, the most wanted, it's got a amber, geranium, tonka bean, and sweet iris settle down phase. And then on the dry down after about half an hour, the Invictus Victory exhibits a little bit powdery amber with some vanilla and uh, tonka bean. And then the most wanted on more of the dry down phase, not only does it have the amber geranium, tonka bean, and sweet iris, but then a little bit of spice comes in, adds a touch of sophistication to the scent. And then I would say the Invictus Victory is more, a little bit more sweeter, softer, and more playful. And then the Azaro, the most wanted, exhibits a warmer, sophisticated type of scent. On performance, we're going to be looking at both of these as a good performer with some moderate to good sillage. And then on longevity for the victory, it turns into a skin scent on my dry skin after about half an hour and will probably be overall a three to four hour performer. And on your right, the most wanted, it turns into a skin scent about half an hour in and then we'll probably go a little bit longer at four to five hours. And on the masculinity scale, I give the victory a 6 out of 10, and then the, the most wanted, I give it a 7 out of 10, a little bit more masculine than the victory. On the victory, you're going to pay a designer price, however, I think it's worth it. And then the, the most wanted, it's designer price, but it costs a little bit less than victory. So take that into consideration. And would I buy these again? The Victory? I would say yes. And then the, the Most Wanted, I was almost going to say maybe or not. But after revisiting it, I like the little touch of sophistication that it exhibits. And I'll say a yes. Both would be good for night, but you can also rock them during the day. And um, they'd be good for a date, dinner date. And they're work-friendly also if you're careful in the spring. 
and I would say it's first date friendly, then both of these exhibit a little bit of sweetness, but a masculine sweetness. And like I said before, the victory is a little bit more playful, and the most wanted is a little bit more sophisticated. So I hope this has helped, and please like, subscribe, share, comment, and uh, we'll see you later.